All right, we're going to go through some images of paintings from the 1600s. I believe Hans Rottenhammer and uh, Bruegel's. Uh, I can't remember exactly. You can figure it out. But yeah, this is exactly what I'm seeing and showing on the earth. This is depicting humans basically being created. They were, we were grown out of the ground. We emerged as full adults out of like pea pods. I don't care if you think I'm crazy. You're crazy. You think you live on a ball flying through space. You know, we live on a flat earth. Well, that implicates something. Here's what it is. All right, you know, just look around. This was painted in the 1600, like 1604. Notice the eye. Notice that eye shape prevalent everywhere. Notice the organic tissues on the surfaces. There's another one. I mean, we there's nobody around nowadays that can paint this. No way. No effing way, man. Nah. -uh. That kind of depth and nope. I don't even think this was painted by humans. Mm -mm -mm, I don't think so. But that's neither here nor there. All right. Same story. We emerge from the earth. This is the inside of a dragon eye. Right here. Uh, somebody knows something. The gift of life. All right. Organic tissue on the wall. That prevalent shape. With an opposite opposite of it oh look here's another what why would they paint that did they copy it so this is this is a cave somewhere they copied it they were in the, this cave painting huh i don't think so this doesn't make sense you know again you cannot rationalize this you can talk shit because it frightens you there's the same organic kind of tissue composed topography here's another one You know, there was an abomination in the creation of life process where the fractal system may have failed a little bit. Obviously, it was corrected, corrupted to correct it, you know. Even all-knowing beings have to learn somehow tr there is trial and error, you know, something this complicated. That's like plant material and the things we were growing out of, they're wearing, their garb is like the veins, arteries, and the green foliage that they emerge from. All right. I have an image, my own picture, of something just like that flying out of a cloud. Check my video. All right. Nobody can paint this nowadays. No way. It's absurd. We got a, like an owl here. A little creature down there. Notice the shape everywhere. The same shape. The same shape. Same organic tissue everywhere. Other than talking shit, somebody rationalized this. You know, here's that shape. Here's the opposite of it. Always there. All right. It's not. It doesn't just look like an eye. It is an eye. Tear ducts and everything. That line up to the opposite tear ducts. That fold together. You like irregular cement. Irregular symmetry. That make perfect life. Cro as cross sections. Okay. The, the chaos of the last conflict. A little hard to see, but... And this one shows exactly what I'm showing on, on Google Earth with the creatures all splayed out like cross-sections, opened up. 
and set right. I mean, this was painted in like 1604. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And clouds are water. Sure thing. And what the heck? And then here's one from like 1860s or 70s. Here's the shape, you know, giving ode to that all seeing eye. There's the tear duct. It's everywhere. It's made everywhere, hidden in the art, hidden in plain sight. It's the all seeing eye. Cool picture, but doesn't even touch them last ones. And then here's some fractals I did of a picture of a piece of amethyst at my mom's. It's like a hundred pound chunk of amethyst. Take an image of it and mirror it. This is what you get. This is anatomically correct. Muscle tissue, bones, teeth, vertebrae, eye sockets, eyeballs. It's all there. There's another one splayed out. All the bones, you fold this back up. It'll create an anatomically correct head of whatever creature is depicting. And whatever creature is depicting is determined by your angle of approach and the surrounding composition of the material and the fact you're imaging it. I think sunlight helps too. And then there's another one. And it's all comprised of that eye shape. That's why it works at every level. All right. There you go. This is in China. Just in case you can't see it, it's it's this one right here that looks like a giant fucking eye. You see this in the clouds, you see this in your body. You guys, man, you guys better get it.